Hey, it's Michael. Welcome to another tutorial. So this time I would like to show you a bit about post function. Why a bit? Because yes, you can add a lot of stuff. So we're going to have actually two examples. So how to utilize what is a post function? So in like a very simple word, it is kind of automation. Why? It, it, but it is not part of the automation plugin. Why? Because you can tell Jira to fire up or deploy something when the ticket is moved from any status to any. And we actually will be exploring the DON because there is actually a few interesting things what is happening. By default, Jira is adding something which is clearing the resolution. That is default, you can actually change it. But we will also, I will also show you how to clear, for example, due date, yeah? and. As always, you know, do not watch it. Please repeat my steps and have some fun because believe me, post function is extremely powerful. You can also add something like, for example, webhooks. Yeah, so if you're planning to maybe integrate Jira into some other applications. Okay, so let's get do it. And again, I will be using over here a Jira Cloud free version. However, in a server, it is a very similar. However, that collection of the post functions provided by Jira is a little different. They will be similar, but little different. However, if using cloud or server or the data center, you can easily repeat all my steps. Let's get do it. <laughs> right. So as I told you, I don't know, actually, I don't remember what I told you, but it could be any type of project, but the next gen. Uh, and we will be using again my SSB. So it doesn't matter if it's Scrum or Kanban, uh, even non-agile, no problem whatsoever. Just make sure it is a classic, classic template. Yep. Right. So how to find out what is uh, the post function? So again, because it's going to be in a project setting. So before we're going to do it, let me actually show you something interesting. Because sometimes people are asking me about this. What is going on? We've got on the board something like this: SSB thirty, and this one SSB thirty one is like you know, cut in the middle means. Something happens, something interesting happens. And yes, this is actually the resolution. So this is not about the resolution, by the way, but you're gonna find them on Jira Cloud in the moment where they record if they're not gonna if they're not gonna decide to move this again. It is like on this top of this pop-up. So we've got over here our DON means that's the status of the workflow because it means whatever DON means for us. Maybe it's resolved, done, completed, whatever we want. However, the resolution is like a kind of like a double status in Jira. So normally, if for instance we explore this one, you're gonna see there is no resolution. Yes, so if it's known, <laughs> Jira is not gonna of course display it over here. Right. So I will show you what is happening. So please, please, please again repeat my steps. We need to now go to the project settings. We are going to uh, workflows again. And we explore our workflows. And by the way, this is the third video in a mini series about workflows. So previously I told you about the uh, uh, validators and conditions. And yes, if you miss that or you actually have it watched this, you're going to find this in the description, the link to that video. Cool. Let's see. So because it's a part of the transition, so the post function can be established in any steps yeah? and it is doesn't matter i use actually simplify work if use non-simplify the steps are going to be the, the steps will be actually actually very 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 same yeah and i'm going to tell you something which drive me absolutely insane sometimes i have to update post function uh so like you know in my in my at work i've got sometimes a workflows much much more complex with for example i don't know like close to 15 16 statuses and the condition and conditions and and the uh, transitions is like sometimes more than 50 so sometimes you have to even change for half of them drive me absolutely insane there is no way you can do it at once please remember yeah so for instance if you're planning to update all conditions there is no way any bulk change to do it in everyone you have to do it one by one so that's why we can only go through that done all right so as you can actually see we've got conditions validator post functions so now let's click into the post function and by default normally you will see five but it is six why why it is at that six because Jira automatically added that first one which is the resolution of the issue will be set to done and that is what is going to happen so if we delete that yeah and well we just like move from 
the project, yeah. And if I'm gonna move the 30 ticket as SB30, if I did that, of course, save the settings, uh, there will be no such thing as a resolution. So is it good? No, it is not because the resolution should be set to done, but you know, maybe you would like to have additional uh, status, like something like result. So there is, there is another way how to do it from the uh, board settings, but just to let you know. So just for fun, let's see what is gonna happen. And I'm gonna give you one, one example only because you can explore the rest one, what you can do with this. So I, also highly recommend you know to, to to have some fun with this because definitely if you are the JIRA administrator or you are even the project administrator and you've got one project associated with the with the workflow so like one workflow the, 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 that workflow what we currently using is only used by that one project if you are the project administrator you will be able to perform some of them i am not sure actually about the post function but probably yes some of them yeah okay so the list is pretty short however you know don't not stop on only my example please carry on but we will also explore this clear field value okay so what field we will be clearing up i decided we're going to use for the due date because this is real life example you know when the ticket is moved to due date uh well sorry when the ticket is moved to to dawn the, 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 the due date doesn't really matter for me at this project so i'm going to clear this up okay so of course now i'm going to go into details how to set the um due date into the project i hope you know how to do it if not let me know in the comments i'm going to send you a video link to that but it's of course it is in the screens so you need to go to project settings screens make sure that on the view edit or if in, even in create we've got the due date and yes i have it so i'm going to show you so if we go to the uh that pop-up view still still hate this view by the way <laughs> but doesn't matter uh where we're gonna find the due date of course no it is not in the details over here i believe you can also decide what what you actually see in this view but it is going to be in that more fields if so if we actually open that more fields you're going to see a due date all right so whatever i'm going to set to something doesn't really matter it can be today you know the fifth of uh may actually not fifth today is whatever date it is i think it is fourth okay so or fifth so not this actually this is okay because the, co the confusion about the american date probably okay so we but doesn't matter doesn't matter sixth okay so we've got due date it is established so set it up yeah probably can actually uh, have some fun and put that due date on the on the card just to just to see see it why not but we do not care about this okay so if the due date is already done for this ticket i'm gonna go back to my post functions and i will say clear field i will just use the, the use clear field value so let's add it and now i'm gonna say new date add it and of course do not forget to publish changes yeah do we need to copy of course no okay that's it so let's see how that works i am going to move this so let's see we've got due date yes we have it so i'm going to move it to done and of course he's asking me for that's a screen from the previous video we do not care about this information and as you can see ssb30 the resolution is set plus let's see about the due date and the due date as you can see has been cleared yeah okay really really cool and you know this is a really really simple stuff what you can do with this but let's see actually you know i as i told you you do not need to stop only on this let's explore a little bit more so let's go let's go to post function let's add uh, something else let's see what we've got another one so i actually use very often clear field value but another one you know it's also very very cool is you can copy value from other fields or as i told you before you can trigger a, a webhook or you can update issue custom fields for instance we can update also some like date fields or whatever you want that's going to be this editor it's going to choose you can set the value append the value if you like it no problem do it so please you know do not watch it please have some fun with the post function and in the next tutorial i will be talking about simplify or non-simplify workflow because believe me this is 
very confusing for a few people. Should I use simplify workflow? Should I not use simplify workflow? And I'm gonna give you my answer. All right, so if you're ready, you can start watching it right now. The link probably will be on this on the yeah on the left hand side so thank you very much for today and if you by the way if you like it what i do and you want some help with jira maybe it's a custom job maybe you would like to have some uh tutorials or lessons let me know i leave a comment to my booking uh calendar link so you can book an ad talk to me thanks a lot and see you next time and by the way you can watch another video right now.